G'day, my name's Mark Youngnickel. I'm an ecologist who's been working in the industry for quite a few years. I decided to come back to university to undertake a nationwide survey analysing the whitebait catch. Uh, a few of you asked while we are out on the road what we sort of did in the lab. So this is one of several videos I'm going to make to sort of show you that. This first one's about sorting the whitebait, um, getting into the species ID and measuring and weighing them. This is one of our large freezers, walk-in freezers, where we keep some of the samples and we can have a look inside. Let's have a look. And so we, we grab the samples that we want from here and then we take them upstairs. Now back in the lab, we grab the sample that we want to process. As you can see, fish laid out nice and flat and we take it over and put it in one of the trays and let, let it thaw out. This normally takes about 30 minutes to an hour. Okay, and after we've defrosted the fish, the next step is uh, sorting the different species out and three of the species, the Enunga, Kawara and Banner Kokopu, are generally quite easy to, to sort. So what I've been doing is I've just sorted through these ones here. As you can see, we've got the Enunga here, uh, the band of Kokopu here, and also a few Kawara on this one. The fish are lined up now within their species. In this first tray, we have uh, Enunga. In the second tray, we have band of Kokopu. Some more band of Kokopu here as well, and also some Kawara. The next stage is to actually look at them all under the microscope. Um, and we look at little differences between just to make sure they're not another species. So we look at the, the differences in the fin position, colour, size, uh, mouths, um, all, the, all the different features and their positions and, and we can identify what species they are. So we have the blue background to help the features stand out a bit better. And under here we have an enunga. I'll do a separate video on how to ID the species, but it's just showing you what they look like under the microscope. And we just have a good look at all the features to make sure they're the fish that we think they are. There'll be a few that we can't find, and we'll have to look at the genetic markers later on uh, to confirm species ID, but these all appear to be Enunga. So now we have to take uh, some random fish um, that we want to measure and weigh. Um, so we get 40 random fish from each species. Let's come in a little bit closer. Um, now we have our fish under the microscope. We want to get the width of the fish, the distance between the dorsal and anal fins. And this will sort of give us an indication of the variation between the different regions. At the bottom here we have a band of kokapu. Because of the position of the camera, because I'm videoing through the lens here, you can't actually see it properly, but if we start on 4 from the bottom of the anal fin up to the top there, 7.5, we can actually work out the, the width of the fish there very accurately. Once we've done that, we get the fish and we take them into the other room to measure and weigh. Now we have to measure the fish and we lay it out very carefully onto the bench here and then we grab our calipers uh, these are really really sensitive and we get a length from the end of the tail to the top of the head and with this fish it's 54.74 millimetres. Then we take the same fish and we take off all the excess moisture by patting it dry. And then we put it onto our scales. These are very sensitive scales so we have this cover around the edge to uh, prevent any air movement sort of changing the weight. As you can see it goes down to 0 0.001 of a gram. This fish is 0.358 grams. Now 
we have these little labels and it identifies each individual fish. And we grab one of these and we get one of these plastic vials and we put the label in with the fish that we've measured and weighed. And then we put it in ethanol, as a type of alcohol, fill that up. And then we store this for later use. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, this is one of several that I'm going to make. Check out my website uh, for the other videos as I put them up. Okay, see ya.